Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Maarten de Lange from, uh, from Akista. I'm the, the product engineer at Akista. Uh, I'm working on the, the Barsha pump and I would like to uh, quench your thirst of uh, questions for the site visibility of the Barsha pump. Uh, let me have a short introduction about the Barsha pump. The Barsha pump is a, is a water pump that runs in the flowing river and uses that flow to pump up water on a, uh, to a higher ground for, for, for irrigation. And uh, by doing that, it doesn't uh, emit greenhouse gases and it doesn't use fuel or electricity. There were a few questions, so for site feasibility. So yeah, uh, well, what is the first question? <laughs> You can put it uh, in flowing water, um, you can put it in rivers, in, uh, in, in, in creeks, in canals, uh, all those kind of uh, small water places if there is flowing water. And that flowing water is used to pump up the water uh, for irrigation or for other purposes. Well, you have to pay attention to two parts of the of the site. The one is yeah, with flowing water. So, is there flowing water? Um, there is a number of things you have to consider on flowing water. And two is the place where you want to pump the water to. Is so if the water. Uh, let me first start at one. Uh, the Barsha pumps works in uh, water that is uh, 0.8 to 1.5 meter per second, and in, in other circumstances, it can work below 0.8 seconds, um, but then you need a special setup. Or it can work after 1.5 meters per second, and then you have to uh, talk to us how to uh, set it up. Uh, so I guess till then I go to uh, part two. Where do you want the water to be pumped? Um, the Barsha pump can pump up to two kilometers deep inwards or 20. 20 meters high. So one of the two. That's so good. We'll see if the Barsha is feasible, if the river is feasible for the Barsha. Then you take one point at the river, like for example stone like this. You walk 10 steps and then you place another stone or you mark another stone. So we have this as the distance now. Uh, the flow of the water is that direction. So if you throw something in it, like a branch, it will go, it will go like that. So you're standing at this point, A, and you throw something in the water, then you count for five, six, seven, eight, until it's at this point. If it's eight, then it's uh, you divide it by, but this one step is one meter, so it's, then you know the, the flow speed of the water is sufficient. To know the depth of the water uh, for the Barsha, we show you first by adding the Barsha, you know the depth of the Barsha, the, 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 uh, the Barsha pump works when the water is this deep. So to, to know how deep the river is, you just simply walk into the river until the water is at your knees and then, then the depth of the river is it's, it's deep enough. Uh, for the width you take three steps, one, two, three, if you can uh, if you are already across the river, then the river is almost too short. But if you, well, this one you see, you, you have one, two, three, four, five steps. So the Barsha will, will fit in that river. If you want to know the height, uh, where you want to pump, you, you can walk a thousand steps. So oh, this is the front field, it's 500 steps, it's one meter, same equal, so it, it's, it's okay. You have to walk more, like a thousand steps, so you're at the, f the field you want to pump. You look down and see yourself, like, oh, I can fit here, two, 
I can fit here in two times, so it must be around six, seven meters high. That's uh, a, a good estimate to, uh, to say ah, I can still be pumped uh, water from the field. There's also uh, a way to know on the website. There is a site visibility calculator where you can put all the numbers in. The links uh, for, the, for the calculator you can uh, see below, also the email address and uh, information contact for Akista. Well, thank you for watching and let us all irrigate better together.